So many, so many great, great memories of the sport, and uh, I'm glad I'm here to meet you. We're glad you're here with us, too, Daryl. We'd like to like proceed you with this plaque, and it reads 2002 to 22 Grand Marshal from the London, London Kentucky, Kentucky Dragway, Daryl Nguyen. Nguyen. I want to thank you so much for being our Grand Marshal here today and present this to you. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. It means a lot, and I've had a lot of fun this week, regardless of you know, the weather and everything else, you're going to see a great show tonight. And uh, I love, love the, the uh, high ribbon, you know, wheel stand, gear shift, and kind of racing. This is what I like. All right. All right. So, Daryl Gwynn, NHRA Hall of Famer, put your hands together for him one more time. Thank you, Daryl. Thank you, Daryl. I'll take this back for you and turn it over to Wayne Scott. <laughs> okay, okay folks. Uh, you just heard from Daryl. Daryl, 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 we got to be sure there's only one thing that we all have to do, and that's helping other people. So I, first, I want to ask if y'all enjoy what you've seen so far today. Well, guess what? That was just qualifying. You really, really think we get to see a show now. The qualifying is over. Elimination is now. So if you see a car over, it goes to the trailer. There's no buyback here. There's, There's no, no breakout. Break First time the team's line wins like that record, record was back in the 60s. But, but before we start, we got a few things. things. We always we honor our God and we honor our, 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 our military. Anybody in this stand, anywhere, anywhere, previous or past, past if you're a military, if you're in the military, if you're in the military, stand up, stand up and be honored. Raise your hand if you're out around the place. You have to understand, if it wasn't for the military, we would not be here. But they keep us free. And uh, 
And we always want to honor them. We're going to play the national anthem here right after we have favor. And sometime about a year or so, a couple of years ago, we had some clowns that decided they were going to kneel for our national anthem. And if you are an able bodied person and you don't stand for the national anthem, you can carry your ass out of here. We have with us today Mr. Donnie Garrett, a Vietnam War veteran, veteran who served sir, our country in Vietnam, Vietnam in those jungles. Folks, I can't even, I can't even put into words, but I get cold chills thinking about that time over there. I want to thank you so much for your service, Donnie. Thank you. We're going to have a flag right here while we have a national anthem. We're going to have a flag Before we do that, I'd like for you to stand and remove your hats. We go, we go to the Lord's Prayer. Our gracious, Our gracious Heavenly Father, Father, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for the help you give us to be here and the safe mercies that you have, you have bestowed upon us in traveling. We, uh, we uh, thank, thank you for every family 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 and Lord, and Lord, let us shine, shine the light that you've given, given us in our lives through us, us to show you your love to these people. There's, There's one, one that's not here, here today that does not know you as Lord, Lord and Savior. I pray, I pray that, that they find, find that in your heart today, Lord. Let us, let us be cast the seeds when you, when you can grow, grow Christians out of the Lord. We thank, we thank you most of all for sending your Son down on the cross to count all of our sins and being in our salvation. Receive your name and pray. And all God's people say it. Amen. 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 You would, you would please, please remain standing for the nice land. Number two in points right now in the Southeast Gas and Superstock Division. Tyler York out of Pasadena, Ohio, now living in Annapolis, North Carolina, running out of the Dark Man garage there in Annapolis. 
York lights the pre-stage first. Pedley sitting and waiting in that 440 weight motor. He goes and double balls him. Here we go. And time to Pedley by the nearest of margin. But Tyler York drives around him on a big end, so he'll move on to the second round. Will Tyler right, York. Second pair out, gonna have Eddie Willis in the gift over in the left-hand side, the number two qualifier versus the number 13 qualifier, Brian Jones. This is Brian Dalton Sr. right here in that little Falcon. Good looking car. I, yeah, that's the former car, Rick Cathcart. I don't know if Dalton's just driving it or what he's doing. Man behind the wheel right now. Way to bracket balls. Number two qualifier Willis. Whoever is able to win this one will get a bye in the next round. He'll get a bye. Come clear up. It'll be Rick Corner, the number five qualifier, and John Wilhot, the number two qualifier. He's got an on that 70 inch Who's your racing tire? Specifically, Bill. Qualifier Cathcart versus the number eight qualifier in Michael Odin. Battle of Ford versus Chevrolet right here. If you're a Ford fan, you're riding over there with Cathcart in that right lane. A little drag race right here. And Rick Cathcart takes the win. By four hundredths of a second. Once again, Randy Keeper in the spine taking. He's over there in the right hand side. He's the number four qualifier. The number eleven qualifier, Don Baskin, in the out of sight little Chevy two, finds himself in the left lane. off the line and that cost him as Mark Hackett got a lot of positive traction and he took it to the win right there so Mark Hackett will take on Tyler York in the next round. Like Ron Allison he bypassed the uh, water box there and didn't do a burnout so I'm assuming he's just going to take the three and he has a bye run right here by virtue of his number one qualifying spot. That's all he has to do by South Carolina is take the green. And he has done that so he will move on so he'll take on Rick in the next round. All right, moving into our sea gas category right here. First pair out going to be Alexis Phillips in the flower power. He's going to be taking on Scott Wallace in the Indian Express. Alexis Phillips, the number six qualifier here today. Scott Wallace, the number 11 qualifier.
Who's going to go in and stage first? I don't know who it's going to be. Looks like Wallace goes in first. Alexis Phillips takes the win right there over Scott Hot Oden. Going to be taking on B.B. Brown here in the next pair out, the second pair out. Scott Oden, the number four qualifier, and B.B. Brown, the number 13 qualifier here today in qualification. B.B. Brown out of Dalton, Georgia here in the left-hand side, being packed up by Riley Welch. Scott Oden with that one-way technology horsepower under the hood for him. 301 cubic inches, I think, is the guy. Kaylee Smith, backup girl, bringing him to the beat in that 58 Del Rey out of Birmingham, Alabama. Oden, the number two man in points right now in our sea gas division. Drives it out the back door, so he gets the win right there. Todd Oden will move on to round number two. All right, Ernie Smith, the number seven qualifier. He's going to be in the left-hand side versus Brad Wimberly in the Southern Sizzler. He's the number 10 qualifier out of Atlanta, Georgia. Good qualifying spot today for Smith as he's got his program rolling. A little bit better every time he goes out. But in the Southeast Gasters, you lose, you, you're done. No buyback window here for the Southeast Gasters. Heads up drag race. We're going to stab that cut every time we get. Arthur Russell will be moving on. All right, Josh Pruitt is going to be the young blood over there in the right-hand side. And he's going to be taking on the number 14 qualifier, Dwight McGuire, and the Steel Lady in the fifth pair out right here in the gas. Josh Pruitt, the number three qualifier. Dwight McGuire, the number 14 qualifier. To the lane, please. A gas to the lane. The young blood puts this one away early. He'll be taking on Alexis Phillips in the next round. Right now, the next pair is the number five qualifier, Ricky Jones, in that stud muffin. 62 Chevy Wagon. He'll be over in the right hand side. He's going to take on the number four qualifier, Matthew Miller. Ricky 
Jones is going to take this one right here easy. And that's going to put him up against another one of those Alabama racers, Todd Oden, in the next round. All right, Seth Buff in the gold nugget. Number 15 qualifier. He's going to be in the right-hand side. Liam Hall, the number two qualifier, make up the seventh pair out here. Tim Hall takes the win right there. Well, he'll take on Ernie Smith in the next round. Tim Hall continues his march in undefeated round in sea gas competition. Looks like he's getting those tires wet. He's going to do a full pull right here. So he's going to out everything. So. South Carolina racers, Billy Wilson, high voltage Harley Davidson on the side right there, his primary sponsor, as well as Custom Automotive in Gaffney, which he is the owner of. High voltage Harley Davidson, the newest Harley Davidson dealership in the state of South Carolina, right there off of Shaw Lane in Spartanburg, South Carolina. You can check them out on the web. High voltage Harley Davidson. That'll round out first round of eliminations in C gas. Arthur Wilson will be taking on Billy, I mean Arthur Russell will be taking on Billy Wilson in the second round. Todd Oden, he's gonna get all he wants to fellow Alabama racer Ricky Jones. Tim Hall, a scalded dog out of Abbeville, South Carolina, gonna take on Ernie Smith. Josh Pruitt's gonna get Alexis Phillips in the flower power. Number one qualifier, Daniel Haynes, got a single right here, but I got a buy right here by virtue of being the number one qualifier. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and knock it out early. <laughs> Little light burnout right there by Daniel Haynes' standards. Haynes out of Holly Springs, South Carolina. There you see his wife Mary Beth right out in front of the car in her traditional patriotic attire. She hands those. I think she's got just about a new outfit almost every race. Coupling out of Buford, Georgia, the number 13 qualifier in the crypt tonight. The 41 Studebaker in the left-hand side. 41 Willis of Michael Walton called Papa's Wild Willis. He's the number six qualifier out of Rayford, North Carolina.
was with the advantage on the starting line. Copeland has a little bit of trouble, has to get it straightened out. Is that going to be enough? And it is not going to be enough to catch Michael Walters, who keeps it straight down the racetrack and moves on to round number two. Activated for the third Amber come on. So Ken Rainwater gonna take the win right. Folks, one of our fine sponsors not able to be here in attendance today, but I want to tell you about them and I want you to look them up on the web. It's called the Hub Saver. Um, J JRP can product developed the Hub Saver. And folks, look this up, Google it. Again, once again, the name is the Hub Saver. It will literally save your hub and, and wheel axle assemblies while you're out on the road. If you have a blowout or a catastrophic failure, um, you won't have that tire releasing from your, your trailer. You won't lose your entire hub assembly. This thing is revolutionary. And uh, Johnny Powell uh, is the man who invented it and came up with it and has a patent on it. Holy smokes, fans, that Kevin Burton didn't burn those Hoosiers down. I don't know what he did. I thought his throttle was stuck there for a moment. I didn't know what was going on. If those tires aren't sticky and ready to grip. I don't know whose are out here in Southeast Gatherland. Kevin Burton's going to be over there in the right-hand side. Burton's number 11 qualifier, Robbie Walden, and that son of Strick 9, the 61 Bel Air, he was the number 8 qualifier. They'll make up the fourth pair out here today in the first round of elimination. Get the win right here because Robin Walter rolls through the beam, unfortunately disqualifying himself. Gordon Rundle in the suspect divide. He'll be out of Speedway, Indiana. He's the number 12 qualifier. He's right in. Bill Revels out of Canton, North Carolina, in the black bed. Three comments. He'll be in the left-hand lane. He's going to be the left qualifier today. Gordon Rundle takes the win right there. That's a little bit of a mini upset. Rundle will take on Rainwater in the next round. Number two qualifier right there. That is Ed McKee. Take on number 17 qualifier, Dennis Shepard here in the Shepard gets shut down on the line. This is going to be a 
single right here with Ned McGee. With the break of Shepard, it'll be a single over there for McKee. All right, Mike Blackwell, the number five qualifier in that thunderstruck. He's going to be in the left-hand side, taking on the number 14 qualifier, Adam Lohorn, in the Rod Slinger. For the seventh pair in this big gas. Winner of this is going to get Michael Walters in the second round. Mike Blackwell taking a win right there, and he'll move on to the second round where he'll, he'll take, take on Michael, Michael Walters, Walters coming, coming up next. Up next. All right, Kobe Welch, the number nine qualifier, going to take on Ray Fossil, the number 10 qualifier in this matchup right here. Welch in the moonbeam over here, the 65. Ranch Arrow, 348 cubic inches under the hood for him. Wayne Bush racing. 19 year old, he's already won a couple of races this year with us in the Southeast Gas, and he is the big gas points leader at this time. Ray Fossil trying to knock him out here in the first round. Let's see try to catch up to him. Kobe Welch takes the win. Robert's going to be over in the right hand side. Lee's going to be in the left hand side in that Mustang. Lee out of Tennessee. He named Tennessee Charlie. Charlie Lee going to take on Kevin Burt. Ken Rainwater going to get Jordan Rundle. Ted McKee will have a bye by virtue of being a number two qualifier. Mike Blackwell will take on Michael Walters. And Daniel Haynes is going to match up against Kobe Welch in the second round of B-Gas.
A gas coming to you next. Ken Phillips, number one qualifier, going to have a bye right here in first round. And the 2019 champ, he's not going to take it easy. He's going to make a hard pass right here, try for lane choice in the next round, where he'll have the winner of the Barry Lynn Chase Howard matchup. Super Stock to the lane for your second round of elimination. Super Stock to the lane for your second round of elimination. than anybody in Southeast Gasser history. Kenneth Phillips. Ben Christopher is going to be up next right here. He's going to be the number five qualifier. Taking on the number 10 qualifier in Sean Michael. Ben Christopher takes a win right there. Puts Sean McLemore on the trailer early. Robert Frazier going to be up next. The number 12 qualifier. He'll be in the right-hand side. He'll be taking on the number three qualifier and defending world champion Gabriel Burrell in the Southern Flyer for the second pair out here in a gas. While we out here racing today, we want to wish Pat Dorsey a Ram Clutch is a happy birthday. He's listening to us on the live feed out right there. We've had a happy birthday today. So many Ram Bushes in these cars out here today. He's done a lot more than about the gas. Still got enough horsepower in that John Cozzi motor to win. Man, that was a driving job right there to keep it off the wall. Gabriel Burrell advancing to the next round. Couple of smoky burnouts right here. Putting a white out on the starting line. Love the smell of racing gas and burned rubber. This is the place to be, folks. Hope you're enjoying it out here today as we attempt to take you back to the 1960s era drag race. Super stock to the lane. Super stock. You need to be in the lane, please. Super stop to the lane. Oh. 
Rick Varner takes the win right there. Well, he'll get Ben Christopher in the next round. He made it look easy right there with that launch he had. All right. Fifth pair out, gonna find Rob Walden, the number six qualifier in the left-hand side, and the number nine qualifier, Dwayne Stott, in the executioner two. He'll be over in the right lane. Hang on there, Jimmy. You gonna be all right, buddy? All right. Thought I saw my boy Jimmy almost go down, but he held his foot. Rob Walden there, making a good smoky dig in that 33 Willis. The 48 Angley of Ben Cri uh, of uh, Wayne Stott sits over there in the right hand side. You love old small cars, this is a good one for you right here. Mechanically fuel injected 33 Willis of Rob Walden out of Atlanta, Georgia. Carburetor. Twain Stotts, who makes a violent turn to the right as he tried to do a dry hop right there. Folks, you see that guy right there alongside the 33 Willis of Walden? That is Stephen Smith. He is the manager of all our social media platforms. If you go on our Facebook page at the Southeast Gaster Association, make sure you like the page and be notified when we go live. You can get shots like what Stephen's bringing you right now as he is going live on Facebook. to take to beat Quain Stott is Rob Walden takes the win right there. And for his efforts, he'll get Gabriel Burrow in the next round. Number two qualifier, Leslie Horn in the chick magnet. He's gonna be in the right-hand lane. The number 13 qualifier, Scott Butler in the little varmint will be over in the left. Right lane Horn, right lane Butler. Winner of this one will get a bye in the second round and move all the way to the semifinals. So a big round right here for Leslie Horn, who is the points leader right now. He can knock off Scott Butler right here. He'll move into the semifinals. And that will be a positive day points-wise for him. Horn racing with a lot on his mind, a lot of family sickness going on right now. His went dead to the right. He thought better of it, brought it back, but still lifts it up in second and third gear. That car's getting down the racetrack pretty well. He will get a bye in the next round. Seventh and final pair out is going to be that Barry Lynn, number seven qualifier in the little red wagon. He's going to be matched up against Chase Howard, the number eight qualifier here in the all business 67 Camaro, I mean, uh, 67 Chevelle. does take the win. Barry Lynn beats Chase Howard and puts him on the trailer. So Barry Lynn, for his efforts, 
will get Kenneth Phillips in the second round. Other matchups are Rick Varner and Ben Christopher, Leslie Horn with the bye, and Rob Walden taking on Gabriel Burrow. All right, one of our exhibition cards right here, John Bish in the spit six. Part of our eight gas contingent right here. They're gonna make a single and then uh, the, we had some, uh, I guess you could say some breakage and some damage in the other H gas car, so we're down to just two cars, Don Back, uh, Basket, and John Bish right here. So each of these guys will make a single pass. Yeah, there is not championship points involved here because it is not an eight car field, but we are trying to build this H gas category two for eight car field and plus four for the championship points. But H gas is a Got any more questions? You want to find out more? You can log on to South East Cat and look under the rules and see what the rules are for East Cat. Superstock round number two. First pair out going to be Randy Keeper in the spine tingler. He'll be in the left hand side over here and versus Rick Varner. Varner over there in the right side in the dirt man 67 Camaro. Keeper went to the finals of our race in uh, Indiana, so he's looking to try to punch his ticket and get a big gold cup here today. Folks want to make sure we invite everybody down to Victory Lane right here at the top of staging. After today's event, you can have your picture made with your favorite driver, get to talk to them, see them presented with their award. A lot of other drivers are there cheering, uh, cheering on some of their people that they raced against and with, and part of this Southeast Gasser family. So invite you to stay and come out there at the end of the race as we present our award here today. And Randy Kiefer pulls out the win and puts Rick Barner on the trailer. So the points leader goes down right here in second round and Randy Kiefer moves on. Tyler York out of Patascala, Ohio, now living in Kannapolis, North Carolina. His car, the Cracker Jack, he's going to be over in the right-hand side. He was the number five or six qualifier today. He's going to be taking on the number three qualifier and Mark Atkins out of Lebanon, Tennessee. Mark Atkins sitting patiently waiting in that 63 Mercury Comet Cali, uh, 64 Mercury Comet Caliente sitting right there on the line waiting. Man, it has won over 14 times in Southeast Gasser history. Good drag race, folks. And Mark Hackett going to pull it out at the end. He'll be taking on Eddie Willis in the next round. Rick Cathcart going to be over in the right-hand side in that little 66 Mustang of his out of Dandridge, Tennessee. And Ron Allison, the 77-year-old out of Cookville, Tennessee, he's going to be right there in that KO KO 
motorcycles and ATVs. The distributor there in Cookville, Tennessee is Mr. Ron Allison. Go by and see him. He is sponsoring the Superstock category for the rest of the season right here. Allison takes a win where he's going to go face on his buddy Randy Kiefer in another semifinal. And Eddie Willis on a single right here. He's got a five. Eddie Willis marches on down the racetrack. We get ready to go to sea gas. All right, first pair out going to be Lake Phillips, the number six qualifier versus the number two qualifier, Josh Pruitt here in the second round. This one here should be a good one. It's one of the most intriguing matchups in second round other than the Todd Odin Ricky Jones matchup. All right, both are in the pre stage. Pruitt goes in first. Lexus Phillips got him on the tree. Let's see if he can drive back around him. Alexis Phillips takes the win right there. That is a big win for her. So Alexis Phillips knocks out Josh Pruitt right here in second round. That's a big win for her. And she continues her maturation in this process of driving in just her second year with the Southeast Gap. Next pair up is going to be that other matchup I talked about, the uh, Todd Odin. Ricky Jones matchup. Ricky Jones is going to be over there in the right lane. A couple of Alabama racers right here. Ricky Jones in that 62 wagon. Stud Muffin. Gene Fulton horsepower underneath the hood for him. Todd Odin with a one-way technology power underneath the hood for him. Todd in that 1958 Dell race. Todd's out of Birmingham, Alabama, just right down the road from Ricky Jones. They're practically neighbors. Todd Oden goes in and lights the pre stage first. Who's going to stage? Jones stages first. Here we go. Todd Oden takes the win after a little bit of a stumble, but he takes, uh, he takes the win off of reaction time, so that is a whole shot win for Todd Oden right there as he had a worse elapsed time than Ricky Jones but was able to get enough of a starting line advantage so that makes that a whole shot win for Todd Oden. Ernie Smith out of Spartanburg, South Carolina in the Saturday night special. He's going to be in the left hand lane and he gets the man who hadn't lost a race all year or a round all year. That is Tim Hall out of Abbeville, South Carolina in the Scalded Dog 1967 Rambler. Undoubtedly the hottest man in this division. Tim Hall qualified number two here today. Riley Welch bringing him up to the line as she always does. That's George, brother Tony right there alongside the car. Mom Jane behind there running the video for him. Ernie Smith's daughter bringing him up to the line. All right. Three stage bulb already lit by Tim Hall. Letting him know I'm ready to go here. He 
gets the bounty of $800. Unfortunately, something happens on the line for Tim Hall. I don't know if it was a if he slipped out of gear or what, but Ernie Smith takes the win. Collects the bounty of $800. The biggest payday for Ernie Smith in a long time right there. What a win. Now we're getting reports that that bounty might have been up to $1,000, but wow. Didn't expect to see something like that out of the hall car because usually that thing is well prepared. Talk about payday in London, Kentucky, taking out Tim Hall, a man who has won every round of racing thus far this year, has established a precedent of winning like every race in a row. I don't know how many rounds, countless to the point to where a thousand dollar bounty had been placed on him and Ernie Smith takes the spoils of victory. I just took the thousand dollars. I tell you what, I don't know what happened to Tim. That's one of the toughest competitors out here. But at the end of the day, I just took the thousand dollars. Hey, the old saying, whoever crossed the finish line first is the one that matters. It don't matter why, how, or when, just so you crossed the finish line first. And today you did, Ernie. You have, this has got to be a windfall for you. I know that you run this thing on a shoestring budget. You and Paula got to be a good day. This is enough fuel to finish here for us. That's, I mean, that, that's enough money to get us diesel fuel to make the last four races. And I mean, I was down, I came up here with $400 left in our race account, figuring out how I was going to make the rest of the races. Lord, been good to me. Oh, Lord's always good to us in spite of ourselves. So, Ernie, no doubt, good thing you know that. Thanks for acknowledging God above. Buddy, good luck. Carry it on. I appreciate it, Mitch. And like I say, I just want, that's all Brian Harris. <laughs> Brian Harris race cars, he's gave me a hot rod. All right, Arthur Wilson going to be over there in the right lane in the Pink Panther. He's got his work cut out for him. He's the number eight qualifier. He's going to try to knock off the number one qualifier. Billy Wilson right here, the troublemaker out of Gaffney, South Carolina. High voltage Harley Davidson. Out right there on the door for it, on the front fender well. Custom Automotive, the shop that Bill Wilson owns right there on the back quarter panel. I'm gonna try to knock the Pink Panther out of competition right here today. Whoever wins this one gets Todd Oden in the next round. And Bill Wilson takes the win right there. He'll get Todd Oates in the next round uh, for the semifinal matchup. That'll conclude our second round of C Gas. Getting ready for B Gas round number two right here. Looking at some interesting matches matchups right here. The Daniel Haynes Colby Welch matchup is one that stands out to me, as well as the um, Ken Rainwater and. Gordon Rundle matchup. Those two right there stand out. And two to watch right here. And you better not sleep on that Mike Blackwell and Michael Walters matchup as well. That's a 5-6 matchup. Just as you would have it, there's the Gordon Rundle Rainwater matchup. Rainwater going to be in the right-hand lane out of Kimberly, Alabama. He's our division. <laughs> Gordon Rundle in that suspect device, Barracuda. He's out of Speedway, Indiana. Winner of this race going to get to face Ted McKee in round number three. Rainwater takes the win right there, gets him on a hole shot, and drives around him to victory. And his last time was not as good as Rundle's, but he made it up on the tree. So you can't be mad at your driver right there, Mr. Rainwater. He did his job on the tree as he was down a little bit on performance. Margin of victory right there, two thousandths of a second. A 
gas through the lane, please. A gas, we need you in the lane. The other big matchup I was thinking about here too was the Blackwell Walters. This is a five six matchup we talked about. Mike Blackwell, the number five. The 41 Willis of Michael Walters, the number six qualifier out of Rayford, North Carolina, is in the left lane. Walters goes in and lights the free stage. Now they're both free stage. Who's going to go into stage first? Walters goes in. Here we go, folks. Walters with the advantage. I don't know if that's going to be enough. It is. Michael Walters docks off Blackwell right here. That's a good win right there for Michael Walters. Michael Walters takes the win in that left lane. Putting Mike Blackwell on the trailer to the house. All right, Charlie Lee, the number three qualifier, going to be in the left side where I've seen him most of the day. Number 11 qualifier, Kevin Burns. Charlie Lee takes the win right there. Another whole shot win. As Kevin Burton had a better lap time. But Charlie Lee takes the win right there. All right, Ted McGee on a single right here by virtue of being the number two qualifier. He has a five this round. Don't know if he'll run hard on this one or if he will. Looks like he's gonna stop in the water box and make a burnout. So I'm assuming he's gonna take a full pass right here. Here's that Daniel Haynes, Kobe Welton matchup coming your way next. Daniel Haynes going to take the right hand side over there in that Patriot, the 62 Falcon. Wayne Bush race engine under the hood for him. Holly Springs, South Carolina. Mr. Riley Welch right up in front of the car. Herself an accomplished bracket racer. She being the older sibling there in that family. Daniel Haynes and Bob Mary Beth right out in front of his car, bringing him up. Daniel Haynes takes the win as Kobe Welch has some kind of starting line malfunction up there. He uh, went in a deep stage. It didn't look like Kobe Welch I, that I know, but who knows what's going on with the car. Or, cause I sure don't. But anyway, Daniel Haynes is going to take the win right there, and he will take on Michael Walter in the next round. All right, the Walden Burrow matchup right here. Walden going to be in the left-hand side in that 33 Willis. Mechanical fuel injection. Bob Walden, the son of the Bar Wall, 409 right there out of Atlanta, Georgia. Continuing to build motors out of his shop that his dad started so many years ago. John Cosby race engine underneath the hood. R. Gabriel Burrow. Burrow in the 31 mile lane forward over in the right hand side.
Golden takes the win right there. Gabriel Burrow again having some handling problems or getting off the line. So Rob Walden takes the win. In the second pair out, Ben Christopher going to be up against Rick Carter. Carter going to be in the right-hand lane in that Chevy 2 of his. Todd Hartell race engine underneath the hood for him. Ben Christopher going to take the left lane here. He's out of Bowling Springs, South Carolina with a... Short of burnout right there, Mark Christopher. Robin Harris is going to put him in the lead. Savannah Christopher is going to back her dad up. He's ready to go over there. Ben Christopher waiting on the field. Somehow, and Carter takes the win. All right, Kenneth Phillips going to take the left lane. Has been feeling most comfortable here lately. Barry Lynn going to be over there in the right-hand side in that big wagon. Barry Lynn got 477 cubic inches of Scott Duggan's car race engine under the hood. Kenneth Phillips chose to go just a little bit down Highway 221 to Gene Fulton Shop there in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Both of these motor builders from the Spartanburg, South Carolina area. 58 Corvette of Phillips, the one he's been campaigning for years. Traditionally a very fast car. The man has won more races than anybody in South Carolina history. And he has been around almost since the first race. Kenneth Phillips way into Silver Streak 2 to another victory here. He'll move on and take on Rick Farner in this one pair of the semifinals. In the other pair, we're going to have this man right here who's got to buy Leslie Horn taking on Rob Walden in the other side. Leslie Horn just set it on his ear right there as he put the best ET of the day I've seen up. That's a good time to do it right there. Leslie Horn serving notice. Might have to go through him to win this cup today. All right, Charlie Lee coming up right here. Charlie Lee is going to get a buy run right here. Looks like he is just going to bypass the water box. He's going to take the three, and he'll move on to Daniel Haynes, the number one qualifier here today, going to be taking on Michael Walters, who's the number six qualifier. He's knocked out Mike Blackwell in the last round of competition to uh, take on Haynes right here. The winner of this matchup right here is going to go to the semifinal. 
Matter of fact, if they go to the semifinals, there'll be another buy right there because of the odd number of cars. So, the winner of this matchup right here will go all the way to the finals. All right, that's 62 Fourth Falcon. Coming back, he's going to be in the left-hand side. That's Daniel Haynes out of Holly Springs, South Carolina. And Daniel, his wife Mary Beth will be bringing him up to the line. Michael Walters over in the right-hand side. Taking his time coming back. Getting ready to go the winner of this one. Going to go to the final. Michael Walters, a car racing engine underneath the hood. Dwayne Bush racing the Patriots sitting over here already pre-staged and the starter has cut them off. All right, looks like we got some a little bit of moisture on the line or something that the starter has pushed them off. That's it all, everybody. Current point leader in our C gas category. As we get ready to get started right back into this B gas. What we call the balance right on the right behind the car, helping out his brother in the left-hand lane, Daniel Haynes, the Patriot. Mary Beth Haynes, the wife of Daniel, right out front, bringing him up to the base. Michael Walters, this is going to be a good matchup. Walters trying to get to his first ever final. And he's going to make it as, as Daniel Haynes turns on the red light. Man, Daniel Haynes got to be the the big red eye catches him. Daniel Haynes has had a career day with his elapsed time. Hate to see that happen, but congratulations to Michael Walters who takes the win right there, and he'll move to the final. That is a tough way to go out right there in third round. Try to knock off our defending world champion Ken Rainwater, the driver of the Renegade. That Renegade in the left hand side, he hails out of Kimberly, Alabama. Through Steve Wayne, right out in front of the car, Dad. Rainwater to the driver's side, Golden. Ed McKee is going to be over here in the right hand lane. He's out of the North City, Tennessee. Jerry House is behind the car, helping him out. He's full of power underneath the hood there for Ted McKee. Winner of this matchup going to take on Charlie Lee in the next, next round for the semifinal. Ted McKee puts Ken Rainwater on the trailer right here in the third round. He'll take on Charlie Lee in the next round to see who will go to the finals and then take on Michael Walker. All right, into our super stock semis right here. Right, Eddie Willis in the gift is going to be in the left-hand lane. Eddie's the number two qualifier here today. He's going to take on Mark Hackett, a 2020-21 world champion. Hackett's the number three qualifier. He's out of Lebanon, Tennessee. Eddie Willis, our runs great. He is due to punch his ticket right here. Let's see if he can make it happen against the champ. The actions have advantage to Hackett. Let's see if there's enough motor under that one-way hood. And there he is. 
That one-way power pulled him through it on the big end, and Eddie Willis going to take it to Eddie the Willis going into the finals of Superstock, taking out last year's world champion Mark Hackett. The Red Camaro ain't doing too bad. <laughs> no, I, I don't know what's going on. I think Jesus has took the wheel. <laughs> If he has, let him keep it. I'm going to. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. <laughs> well, you know, Camaros are one of my favorites. 67's where I started my driving career in my life when I was 16. So, Eddie, buddy, we'll be looking for you in the finals. Good job so far. Thank Pleasure you. to see you this far up the ladder. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Randy Keeper in the spine tingler. He's going to be over in the right-hand lane. Ron Allison in the Poppy's toy. He'll be in the left-hand lane. This is a, a rematch of the finals we had out in uh, Lyons, Indiana. This is Lyons in the semis right here. These guys travel up and down the roads of the Southeast County Tour. Virtual I mean, neighbors, really. They meet right here in the semifinal to see who will take on Willis in the final. All right, A gas, we need you to the lanes. A gas, we need you to the lanes, please. And Ron Allison turns on the red light, man. So that guarantees us a brand new first time winner in Superstock this year. Randy Kiefer is going to take on Willis, uh, Eddie Willis, in the finals of Superstock. So it's going to be a brand new winner coming out of the Superstock division. Going to take on their first trophy ever today here at London, Kentucky. Randy Kiefer, brother, the Spine Tangler Pontiac, or what, Oldsmobile? I can't oh, keep yeah, up with this thing. It's Pontiac funny. wagon and super stock. Talk That's about true. a tough guy you just put on the trailer, Ron right. Allison, last year's points champion. I know. Ron, uh, I, I, was, I was hoping Ron would make a mistake against me because that's all I had for him. So uh, we're just blessed to be here. So we're, we're, we're all blessed to be here. We, we really are. So uh, <laughs> we're, we're just tickled to death. Uh, car has been great. Uh, you know, we missed the first two races, uh, but these last four have been, we're just having the time of our lives. So. As I said a few races ago, man, you exploded onto the scene. Congratulations. I mean, this thing is just really, I mean, it is setting precedences for, for new Superstock entries. We, we tried to do our homework. You know, we, we, we started talking to uh, the technical people probably a year and a half and, and really just tried to come up with a combo and, and uh, spend our money where we needed to and, uh, and, and come out strong. So. Sound like you spent it in the right place, brother. Right. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but you're going to the finals. We'll see you there. I'm very tickled. Thank you. Alexis Phillips, the number six qualifier here today. Ernie Smith was the number seven qualifier, and they find themselves here in the semifinals. ready on the line. So Alexis Phillips goes to her first final. Alexis Phillips, my girl, going into the finals of Seagas. Based on what we know about the ladder, this could be the day. Yes, sir, it possibly may be. I mean, 
coming into the day it wasn't looking so hot qualifying was not was not going good for us but a change of slicks and we've made it this far so hopefully this by run into the finals will be our day i think it could well be you know we'll just sit back and wait and see nobody knows how the cards fall but it looks like they may be favoring you today alexis good job with no cynthia smiling down <laughs> thank you guys all right next up number one qualifier billy wilson he's going to get the number four qualifier todd oak oak just had to complete a transmission change in his car that 58 L rail will be over there against the right hand side. The 49 Studebaker Troublemaker Truck finds himself in the left lane. Wilson eliminates Todd Oden right here. He goes on to take on Alexis Phillips in the final. Billy Wilson, buddy, I hear you. The old troublemaker standing up to its name going into the finals. You got an energized Alexis Phillips in the other lane. Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to it. I, I hope she does really well, but I hope we come out with a win. <laughs> well, that's about the best way you can say it. You know, as you wish them safety, it's hard to wish them luck. Yes, sir. This Fulton Power is really going strong. Well, you know, you got some of that same thing in the other lane over there, a little bit of it anyway. I think Ettens had a little bit of everybody massaging on it. But nonetheless, Billy, you know, they're running good today. I know you are too. You've got to win. She doesn't. Boy, this is going to be a tough one. Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to it. in the chick magnet. He's in the left-hand lane in the 55 Chevy with that Gene Fulton power underneath the hood. Rob Walden supplies his own power out of the Lamar Walden race shop down there in Doraville, Georgia. If I say Doraville and you don't know, Doraville is basically Atlanta. Kaylee Smith bring it up. Leslie Horn to the uh, three stage. He's got to get three stage right here as Walden's already in. Good lead for Rob Walden right there. He's going to give him a drag race right here for sure. But Leslie Horn pulls it out. The incrementals on that one were very tight. Nine hundredths of a second, the margin of victory right there for Leslie Horn. As he goes to the finals here at London, Kentucky. Only question is, who will he face? Will it be Kenneth Phillips or Rick Barner? And they'll be settling that score coming up in just a moment. Leslie Horn, buddy, one thing's for certain, you're not a stranger to the finals. But a little bit stranger than me getting to talk to you. It's been a while. We've been off doing other chores. Congratulations, brother. You you going into the finals yet again? Thank you, Mitch. Thank you. It's hard time to be here this week. I almost didn't come, and it's just glad I did. Um, got away from my house. Got a lot of stuff going on there, but I'm glad to see. You. I'm glad to see you back down here. I'm glad we're doing these interviews again. I think this is a big part of Southeast Gassers, and I appreciate everything that you do to try to promote it. I uh, appreciate all these fans that come out here to support us, and we're just we're just going to keep on keeping on. 
Uh, no doubt about it, brother. And yes, all our hearts are out to Logan. We hope everything continues to improve with him. Lord knows he's a fan. He's he's our favorite fan out here for all of us. And uh, he's going to be all right, brother. They, uh, we don't worry about it. He'll be fine. You just go win a race for him. That's what I'm going to try to do. Thank you. Thank you, Leslie. Varner's going to stay over there in that right lane. This is a perfect matchup for these guys. Varner likes the right lane, been in it all day during elimination. Phillips likes the left lane. He's been in it all day during elimination. Another Spartanburg, South Carolina motor builder, Todd Hartell, supplying the horsepower underneath the Rick Varner dirt man race car right there in the right lane. As we said before, Team Sport providing the horsepower in that small box again. For Dennis Phillips, that 58 Corvette sitting in the left side. Mary Beth Haynes coming out with Dennis Phillips, getting him up to the lead. and uh, Kenneth Phillips still got to the strike first, even though the red light. So Kenneth Phillips and Leslie Horn going to decide it here in the final with Kenneth Phillips. All right, B-Gas getting ready to come at you right here. We'll get them turned around and get them started cooling down after they make these runs. Ed McKee going to be taking on Charlie Lee. And then Michael Walker, he has a pie. He'll have to make a pass and decide if he wants to go hard on the pass for the last time in lane choice, or if he wants to just take it down and save his part to make it to the finals and let it all hang out. Looks like Michael Walters just going to take the tree right here and save his part for the finals. That is all he is supposed to do during, or has to do during the uh, elimination round. I don't know if he'll back it back out or if he'll take it on down the racetrack. Looks like he's just going to drive it down the racetrack and move on. All right, Ted McKee looks like he's going to be in that right lane over there where he kind of favored all day. Charlie Lee, conversely, has favored his left lane. So both guys in the lane they, they've been very familiar with. Let's see what that's going to amount to here as they get ready to get started in this semifinal matchup. to we'll see who takes on Michael Walters in the finals coming up in just a few minutes. Taking his time getting pre staged. Now he's in. Let's see who will stage up first. Good drag race right here. Ted McKee gets a starting line advantage and drives through to the victory. So Ted McKee will take on Michael Walters in the finals coming up here in about 30 minutes for B Gas. Orange Bullet just making passes today out here. Looks like you're going to have Michael Walters in the final. Well, I tell you, this thing is unreal. I, I couldn't do it without Terry and Blake. <laughs> well, you know, that's a couple of guys with a lot of history. Oh, yes. Yes, sir. And Gene Fulton, man, he's got this baby getting it. This thing's unreal. Well, you know, all you got is one more round, but I got to tell you, you got a real hungry Michael Walters in the other lane. Yes, sir. Everybody up here is hungry. I'm telling you. They didn't nobody climb this mountain to go home early, did That's they? right, that's right. That's All right, our two H gas competitors today will be here on the line. Don Baskin going to be over there in the right lane. Maybe it's some kind of mini Cooper or something. I don't know what that is. Then we got the Spitfire right here, John Fish. He calls it Spit Six. It's going to be in the left-hand lane. Uh, 
John's been working hard up there in Wayne's spot shop trying to get a different uh, transmission situation. I think something to do with that. I can't be totally sure. They were working on something with the gear changing. Something the other day while I was up there at Wayne's shop. Mary Beth Haynes is going to bring him up to the line right here. 7.15 and we get the final started right here today. Awfully glad you're here with us. Who's it going to be in H cast? Is it going to be Don Baskin in the right lane or is it going to be John Bish in the left in the spit six? John Bish is going to take the win right there by virtue of a big red light hit to Don Baskin. As long as you don't cross, that's about right. Finally, good to see you in the finals and winning one of our H gas races. Somebody other than the Beasel Bug down there. Hey, the Spit Sick. You and Christina, you know. Hey, buddy, it's got to be a pretty happy day for you. Oh, yeah, it's good. Uh, there's a few minor changes we made, and uh, that helped us out. So it, it paid off in the long run. It must have, John, and you know, everybody out here has to be pulling for you. There's no way around it because of all the food that you and Christina have cooked over the years and fed everybody, everybody has to be John and Christina fan. Buddy, good job. Congratulations, John. Glad to see you in the winter circle. We look for you in many more. All right, appreciate it. That H gas continues to evolve. We had five entries here today, getting close to that magic number of eight that we need to have a competitive race. And that's what Wayne Stock says do, so we'll go on into our Super Stock Division now. Eddie Willis and Randy Kiefer, both of these guys never have been to a final, so we're going to have a first-time winner in this class right here. Eddie Willis with that one-way technology small block under that 67 Camaro. Been a lot of work for both of these teams. I know Eddie Willis been at it a little bit harder, maybe than some. I know there'll be a big celebration down there at the car in the left hand lane. That big red 67 Camaro is able to take the win. That 7 inch Hoosier spec racing tire right there underneath both of these cars on the rear side. That is going to be the equalizer here. Keeper already into the pre stage. Trying to get Willis in there. Keeper with a whole shot advantage and a shot at off the screen. Let's see if he's got enough under the hook in that one way car to take the win. No! Randy Keeper takes a whole shot on the tree and drives to the win. Even though he was beaten on the lap time, he made up so much on the tree. That's why it's a whole shot win. Randy Keeper puts that wagon back into victory lane for the first time in history. Randy Kiefer, super stock finalist and winner. Buddy, what? Five races in the Southeast Casper Superstock, and you taking a win. Yes, sir. We are so happy. We are so happy. What a what a great day. Had a little luck. Climbed up on the tree a little bit, and and I knew I had a tough chore yeah, chore with him. So it was great. You, you did. You had you climbed a lot of ladder today, yep. uh, Randy. No question about that, brother. But as I said before, you know, I you impressed me two or three races ago, and you've really impressed me now. A lot, a lot of tough cars out here. You guys, good job. I don't think this will be our last conversation in the final. I, I really hope it's not, and I appreciate the uh, the confidence in us. So next up, we've got C Gas coming up. Billy Wilson going to be taking on Alexis Phillips right here. First time finalist in for Alexis Phillips. She's going to have to really go. She's going to take care of this troublemaker. But there's plenty of horsepower underneath the hood of that flower power to do just that. We'll see how it shakes out. Flower power going to stay in that right lane where she's been so accustomed to being all day. Tom White, he's right there bringing her into the water. 49 Studebaker truck of Wilson out of Cassie, South
Billy Wilson right there in that 49 Studebaker truck, Gene Fulton motor underneath the hood. Car race engine underneath the hood for the flower power. Both in the small block variety. I'm thinking directly, Wilson is like 305, 306 cubic inches. Maybe the same over there for that 56 Chevy, the flower power. All right, Mary Beth Haynes walks away, so does Pam Burl. They turn it over to the drivers who are now in the pre stage. Wilson goes into the stage first. Clean and green for both drivers, but a big advantage on the tree for Billy Wilson. Billy Wilson takes the win. So Billy Wilson takes the win right there on a huge hole shot advantage and a performance advantage. And he'll pick up his third win in Southeast Gasser history. First, clean and green for both drivers, but a big advantage on the tree for Billy Wilson. Billy Wilson takes the win. Billy Wilson. Talk about stirring up trouble. I mean, putting these women on the trailer, all these things, another win on your resume. It's a good day here in London, Kentucky, Billy. You have climbed one heck of a ladder to get here. Sea gas is certainly no slouch. Good job, pal. What have what what took place? It's a good win, but a bad win. I can fully understand that. Yeah, I hate to see that happen, but I love to win, you know. That's emotional. <laughs> well, Billy, it's one of them things to where if they don't win it, they didn't win it, you know. And I fully understand where you're at, but every fight, every win has to be fought for. Yes, sir. We fought hard getting back here. It's really been hard. Like I say, and my, a lot of friends are here today, so I'm really glad. No doubt about it, brother. Hey, what about back home? I mean, what, what we going to do Monday when we're tomorrow, maybe, back in South Carolina? I mean, going to be in a hurry to get home. <laughs> <laughs> going to take a leisure trip home, maybe stop and have a steak. Well, listen, yes. they're going to be waiting on you in the winter circle. They're going to take your picture, and I think they may give you some kind of a check and a trophy. That's a new trophy with the little swirls in it. <laughs> Brand new. Thank you, sir. All right, Ted right. McKee is going to be taking on Michael Walters in the next matchup right here for B-Gas. Walker's going to be in the left-hand side. McKee going to be in the right-hand side. McKee is favored that lane all day, and he has lane choice. So Ted McKee out of Lenore City, Tennessee, trying to take a Rocky Top missile to his third win of the year this year. <laughs> Southeast Gasters, and what a year for him. Ted McKee, buddy, I'm here to tell you, Rocky Top Missile is on top today, no doubt about it. You and the Housley boys is just stirring up a stink up here. I'm telling you, that thing was like it was on a rail today. 
It must have been. You know, you you come through quite a ladder, taking out uh, Tennessee homeboy Charlie Lee, taking out Rainwater champion, world champion. My Lord, what a show. Today. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, this is a hard class. Oh, big ass is the toughest. Five rounds. Yes, sir. I'm telling you, it's awful. It's, 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 I'm, I just, words can't describe it. I'm just ready to go. I hear you. I know you are. Well, you better go to the winner's circle. They're going to be waiting to take your picture and give you a check. Yes, sir. Thank you, brother. Have a good one. Michael Walter, buddy, you climbed her all the way to the finals today. You know, I tell you what, it's not a win, but it ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Just a little bit short. Just a little bit short. <laughs> but I had a great time, and this is what it's all about. Yeah, absolutely, buddy. You know, we have a good time racing up here, and the competition is great. That's obvious. And as I said, it ain't a win, but it ain't nothing to be too. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of. Good job, Michael. I'm happy, I'm happy with old girl. She did good today. Good job, buddy. Well, good job by Ted McKee as we get down to a gas, the kings of the sport. We've had two Fulton motors just win C gas and B gas, and I guarantee you that somebody named Gene Fulton built the motor into a gas for both of the finalists right here. A gas finalists both carry G4 power. Looks like it's going to be a full sweep in the gas plastic here today. Kenneth Phillips is going to stay in that left side where he's been accustomed to being all day. Leslie Horn in the chick magnet, the 55 Chevy going to be over there in the right side. Kentucky. Leslie Horn, I tell you, you know, you have had an incredibly stellar season. Not only are you leading the points, but you're winning race after race after race in some of the toughest competition in the, that the drag racing world has to offer in the A-gas category. And today, you're doing it with a whole lot of other things on your mind. What a racer you are. Yes, it is. It's tough to be here, but glad to be here. I'm here for the fans, um, here for Southeast Gasser. And I mean, that was a gimme. I mean, uh, my blow the tires off there in the left lane, didn't move, and I looked up and kind of a slam over my lane, so I started grabbing gears. <laughs> so That's what I said. Hey, guys, it's tough, bro. Hey, you know, I, I thought about it after I'd done it, after I let off, I was like, I don't never let off. Why did I let off? And there you was. But I'm kind of glad I did after I seen how far over my lane he was. So. But anyway, I, I was glad to be running Kenneth. Me and him had run all year. We had faced each other all year, and both Fulton engines in there, and that was so that's uh, what A B C all Fulton. So hey, son, he's strong, ain't he? Yeah, he, he's had a good day today. He just don't know it. Thank y'all. Thank you for the camera guy. Thank you for everybody. Thank you for all the staff. Mitch, thank you for everything that you do for us. Thank you for the stuff that you tried with the live feed and all that stuff and keep working on it. I know you've tried to do a one man show with the, you needed a crew, you know, so you we'll work very there. hard. You work very hard and I'm proud of you. Well, we'll get there, Leslie. Main thing, butter, go to the winner's circle. They're going to take your picture and they're going to tell you how proud they are. All right. Sounds good. Thank y'all. We thank you for your patronage of coming out. We hope you've got it. Enjoyed the chance to see our grand marshal and NHRA hall of famer, Daryl Gwynn. Please remember you are all invited to Victory Lane, which is right here at the head of staging. 
or as we give out our championship trophies for today's race match. So remember, as you're heading home, please be safe. Remember, your right foot is a restrictor plate. Let's keep them out of the roads and ditches. You can come back home and be safe. We love you, and we'll see you down the road.